Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you some new features of the latest version of the My Linux for Work dot files for Hyperland, the version 2.9.8.4. The latest version comes with a completely new icon style for the My Linux for Work apps. The new My Linux for Work Hyperland settings app covering the most of the available HyperCTL variables, a new animation style and much more. You can find detailed information about the update and installation procedure in the GitLab Wiki. From now on, I will concentrate on the new version 2.9.9, which comes with a completely new setup of the installation procedure and the installation of the dot files. I have already announced it in some of the last videos that I will separate the installation of the packages from the dot files. And I have started to work in parallel to the dot files on a new application, on a new script. It's the packages installer script, which is currently in beta. And with that script, I and you in that case, because it's a public script, everyone can use it, can create a multi-distribution installation script for your favorite packages, for your favorite packages or for dependencies of your dot files. The packages installer will support from the beginning Pacman, Zipper, the DNF and apt. So, and of course the related distributions, Arch Linux based, um, OpenSUSE, then of course Fedora and Ubuntu. So a lot of possibilities and the dot files will be then distribution independently. And if your platform is from the beginning not yet supported, you can export a list of packages and can install the dependencies of the dot files independently, for example, on NixOS. And on top, you can install the dot files. So a huge step into the platform independency of the My Linux for dot files coming with the next version 2.9.9. But for now, let's concentrate on the 2.9.8.4 and the new features. Let's jump in. Welcome to the new version of the My Linux for Work dot files 2.9.8.4, the advanced configuration for Hyperland. And you see here already the first change. You see, I have introduced a new icon set for the My Linux for Work dot files apps that are chipped with the dot files. And you see it here on the welcome app. And when you go open the sidebar, for example, you see here also the new icon style here on the sidebar. When you open the calendar app and you see that also here a new icon appears in the about dialog and here also at the bottom in the NWG doc for Hyperland. The calendar app has also here a new way to add the execution command for the events button. You can click here on settings and you see that there is an overlay coming up from the button and you can set, for example, here a command to evolution, confirm it with return. And when you click here on events, you see that evolution will start. Let's continue with the new apps because the Hyperland settings app has been updated completely. This is the new Hyperland settings app. So here, that's the new welcome screen, also here the new item. And if you want to override Hyperland variables, you can do this by clicking here on all variables. Also here, a new layer pops up and you can, for example, change the active border color to yellow. This is something that I currently like. And you see here that the border has been changed to yellow. I will also decrease the border size to one pixel. No, it's only one pixel. And these are two values that are often change. And to have a quick access to these changes, to these variables, I can add this variable to my favorites. And now you see that the variables also are available on the start screen of the Hyperland settings app. So next time when I open the app, you see that the both variables are accessible immediately and I can increase the border size again to three. So I think very straightforward. By the way, you can use the Hyperland settings app on any Linux distribution. It's a flat pack that you can install from the my GitHub repository. 
Um, all links are in the video description. And um, I've tested it on Fedora. I tested it on OpenSUSE, so without any issues. So if you have a system where Hyperland can be installed, you can also use the Hyperland settings app. Another change is that I have removed the configuration of HyperIdle from the My Linux for Work settings app. So from now on, you have to set up HyperIdle, though that means the start of Hyperlock, the start of um, DPMS, um, the start of the suspend mode directly in the file. You see uh, on top of the file a link to the um, very well documentation of HyperIdle in the Hyperlint wiki. And please follow that because I've seen that this setup is very individual and depends a lot on your local setup. That's why I keep it from now on up to you how you want to set it up for your system. And you can do this here in the file hyperidle for in dot config hyper hyperidle. And you see already that the new version comes also with a very nice new default animation. And this is inspired by and for very smooth animations. Yeah, you see it also when you open a file manager, when you move it to another workspace and back, you see also the transition between the workspaces are very, very nice. So very good work and for another update are now the activated cursor trails on kitty you see here that very nice cursor movement for example when i open test sh you see how the cursor moved up to the top let's do it again you see it that nice animation is now activated by default if you don't like it you can deactivate it yeah easily by going into dot config my linux for work settings and search for kittycursortrail.conf and you can just set it to zero and then it's deactivated. And that's it, that's the new version. And at the beginning of the video, you have heard that the next version, the 2.9.9 will come with a lot of improvements and a new way to install the packages. All right, with that, stay tuned and see you next time.